a patient comes to Jefferson to have the cerebral aneurysm treated, they should expect excellence and patient dedication from the moment they're admitted in the hospital until the discharge and actually followed up as an outpatient. If the patient has the aneurysm treated by a minimally invasive approach, the endovascular technique, typically that's a 24-hour hospital stay. So they come in in the morning, they have the aneurysm treated, most commonly under general anesthesia, and then they're admitted in the neuro ICU for careful monitoring the first 24 hours. Subsequently, they will be discharged and followed up in the office. The patient that undergoes open craniotomy for clipping ligation of the cerebral aneurysm will have, uh, again, the surgery performed the day of the procedure. That surgery varies anywhere from uh, four hours up to six to seven hours at times, then admitted into the neuro ICU, and subsequently in the step-down unit anywhere between two to three days for recovery. Following discharge, the patient is followed closely in the office as an outpatient. Some of the benefits of minimal invasive treatments, again, if the patient is a candidate for such a treatment, so you really need to be evaluated first, is exactly the fact, the nature of the minimally invasive part of the procedure. So the uh, hospital stay is much shorter, patients recover much faster, and oftentimes they follow up with the next day without even knowing or remember they had an aneurysm treated. No scars, it's pretty remarkable. Over the past several decades, technology has really improved in uh, both the treatment of open and endovascular cerebral aneurysms. In the open category, we have uh, better microscopes that we're able to visualize the aneurysms in surgery much better. And uh, the modern clips allow us to treat even the most complex cerebral aneurysms. In the endovascular route, uh, technology has actually really revolutionized the way we treat cerebral aneurysms. We're able to treat them with flow diversion stents that weren't present 10 years ago. And the devices, the catheters, allow us to um, enter even the smallest blood vessel or the most tortuous blood vessel, in other words, blood vessel with a lot of turns. So I've really expanded the types of aneurysm we're able to treat with a minimally invasive approach. Jefferson Health is undoubtedly one of the best hospitals in the country to have a cerebral aneurysm treated. The clinical volume of cerebral aneurysms treated in this institution and also the surgical experience of not just the surgeons, but also the entire surgical team with dedicated neuroanesthesia, neurophysiology, nurses, technicians, makes this place unmatched in the treatment of cerebral aneurysms. I am Dr. Stavropoulodzou-Makaris. My mission at Jefferson is to improve lives.